everybody, Google Land Games, and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's 2. With me, I got some people that I'm broadcasting on live me. These are them. The webcam can see you guys perfectly. Live me says hello to you, viewers. So, viewers on my channel, if you see me look the other way, I am addressing the people on live me, so I am doing my live broadcast. Either way, let's get into night one. Help one at Grand Reopening. Vintage Pizzeria. Give it a new life. Come be a part of the new phase of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. What could go wrong? 100 and $100.50. Damn. What could go wrong? There's a lot of things that can go wrong. An animatronic. With raises for hands. Gilliland Games. Phone guys should be dead. Uh, hello? Hello, hello. Hello, phone call. Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Doesn't look new and improved. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see <laughs> during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for yeah. quite a while, but uh, I want to reassure old you, animatronics. Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and above all, safety. They look all they sorts of small fuckered up. They new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal data thing so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Don't uh, pay them to guard me. Said, Don't want no, no creepy ass animatronic in my kink. office. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week, but complained about conditions. Which conditions? Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Fine. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. I love so while our place. engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, oh, they I have think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. Although spring so track be a dick and a half. Set. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, Switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Oh, that's <clears> nice. <throat> that's comforting. It affects one, uh, but not the rest of it. And as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. Big you see, there might be a minor mass. glitch in the system. Something about the robot thing he was an endoskeleton without his costume on and wanting to get stuff you in the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear. Yeah. Uh, Level of all. You can put it on any time. And leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will this wander back out. Fucking fine. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> yeah, uh, you have to be vulnerable and, and naked. And even There's though no you're flashed like you're running out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check don't the light, put on the fray head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up, piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, yay, this is a bag of dicks. Hey, Bonnie, you moved from the stage. You moved from the stage, you're right there. I'm watching you like a fucking hawk. Not just your average hawk, but a bacon hawk. All right, 3 a.m. Holy crap! Fine, fine, fine. Who's down 
there. Got some movement. In the vent. Fuck. 